G'day you beautiful people. Today we're heading out for a little location scouting for the beautiful fall colors. We're about two weeks away from the optimal time. We're gonna head to a little bit higher elevation to see how epic these colors are coming. Let's get right into it and roll that intro. G'day you beautiful people and thank you for joining me once again on an epic vlog. Today we're heading to the highest mountain pass in Slovenia, Vršić, in the northern part of Slovenia. We are going there for a location scouting mission. We are two weeks away from the epic fall colours. Now coronavirus, as many negative things that have come along with 2020, there's some very positive things for me personally, especially in the business orientation. And one of those is actually a positive for you guys. Normally, this time of year, I am crazy busy photographing, helping clients on my workshops all around the world. But this year, obviously, we can't travel. So what does that mean? I can go out every day and photograph these epic fall colors here in Slovenia. Because if there's one thing that I regret doing, it's taking you to all these epic locations and showcasing how freaking beautiful Slovenia is, especially in the fall season. So this is episode one of hopefully 30 or 40 to come on all the epic locations around Slovenia. So I hope you enjoy this series. I'm bloody going to, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's go and have a look at how good these fall colors are two weeks out of the perfect time of year here in Slovenia. Okay, so we've made it to the top of Vržić, the highest mountain pass here in Slovenia. It's how you say it, this is how you spell it, crazy bloody language. But today is not about just going out to capture the photo, it's about location scouting, finding out what conditions are like for that two week period. This is being recorded two weeks before I'm dropping this because I'm mainly here to shoot the last couple of lessons from my Night Sky series. So if you haven't watched those lessons, jump back, watch that because tonight, will be an epic series, the last four episodes from an absolutely fantastic night series. And I wanted to get the GoPro out and do some recording on the GoPro. So let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of this GoPro footage. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I want to add some audio onto it because as I said, I want to capture as much as I possibly can. That's going to test the audio out through this October season and the GoPro will help me out. Now, let's go on this hour walk up to the top of Vržić Mountain and hopefully see what we find. I have made it to the top of Vržić, the highest point of the highest mountain pass here in Slovenia. And I will never forget this moment because I was just watching on my phone. This was recorded two weeks ago. Pogaccia just overtook Roglic and won the Tour de France. Just goes to show you, it doesn't matter how young you are, if you've got a strong mind, you want to get up every day to achieve your goals. He is 21 years of age and just won the Tour de France, the biggest road cycling event in the world. If you want to do something, make sure it happens. But I actually left my backpack just down that little plateau down there. I actually thought being up here would be too high in elevation. 
Once I get up here, it works out so much better. What I want to try and do with this composition is the mountains in the background looking in towards Italy. I want to use this mountain hut down here for scale. Whew, I'm puffing, I'm excited, and I've been a lazy boy this summer because you would have seen two weeks ago on this channel the same composition shot with the Milky Way. So if you haven't watched that, head up here and watch that below, uh, up here. But now, hopefully get some alpine glow and get the camera set up. It's just so good to be back in the mountains. Matt, remember this, be out in the mountains and you are happier. Do what makes you happy and achieve your goals that will, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm pumped to be out here, a very memorable moment and a great moment to be in Slovenia for the first winner for the Tour de France. I didn't win, but I feel like I won. <laughs> Never thought I'd be so lost taking photographs in the mountains. Usually I'm right at home in the mountains photographing, but here there is just, there's compositions everywhere, but they're not like polished, finished compositions. I've taken, I'll show you an image right now of the hut with the fall colors in the background. We're still that two weeks away. So basically when this video drops, that is when I can come back out, but I'm so bloody thankful that I've come out now to the basically highest point I can just drive to to look at locations and also the tree colors because if I come out here in two weeks time, I'd be completely blown away and if conditions were perfect, I would have stuffed it up completely. But we are getting sunset now. It's not really good colors. We've got the XT1 with a 10 to 24 mil on, trying to get everything in. But you can see from a couple of weeks ago, it was easy because I had the Milky Way in the background, but because I've got nothing happening in the sky right now, I'm getting so much dead space in sort of the center top and top right hand corner, which I'm not happy with. Try going to the left hand side with this image right here, but the, you know, the balance of the image just isn't proper. But there is a pagan girl, which I'm gonna zoom up right now and show that photo. There's a pagan girl in the rock up for the shit, but it's beautiful. I can't complain about that, but there's just so many unpolished images. I don't know how to explain that. It's a little bit disappointing, but I know the longer I spend up here, the more obviously I'll find compositions. And there's so many places to walk around here, which is great to find compositions. But this particular area is just for the Milky Way. It's hard. Oh, absolutely bloody breathtaking. It is getting a little bit chilly, but lucky I bought plenty of my own merch. If you want to find out how to get some of that, please make sure to head over to my website and follow the instructions for that. But I think I'm going to have to come back during the day for sort of five or six hours and just walk around. Because tonight, I haven't been out mostly all summer. I've been working hard on the computer, getting things prepared because coronavirus has smashed me. But I'm sort of looking around like nosy Nancy at everything and not concentrating on the actual image itself. So I'm gonna to have to come back, location scout the area for five or six hours, and then get a proper image behind me. But what I've done, I've composed the image with the hut in sort of the bottom left, but sort of a frame up and a frame in from the left-hand side. And what I've gone for is just in case I come back out to this, uh, this location and get epic skies, I can use this image. I need the sky to light up to fill the rest of the frame. I'm about to show you that image right now. Bracketing exposure, I did put a polarizer in because it is the summer, just the end. We're getting that mountain haze. Three bracketing exposure. I'm gonna go through with a two second timer right now and capture that image. So there we have the 50 to 60% finalized image because we're gonna come back after a month's time after saying our prayers before bed and getting that sky lit up, getting the foreground lit up with that golden, 
beautiful fall colors and capture that image once again if we don't find another composition around this area. I'm pretty sure I will because this is just littered with compositions, this area. Now, if you do wanna get my first limited edition, there is limited availability for the first drop of my merch. It isn't available right now, but if you wanna find out how to sign up to get the limited availability, head to my website. I'm going through the test phase right now on all my t-shirts, washing them, wearing them, making sure they are premium quality. But guys, they're going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm putting my heart and soul into this the last six months, designing these t-shirts and getting them printed. So please make sure to head over for the exclusive limited drop. Now, also please make sure to drop below and subscribe because as I said, this is just the first boring part of this fall trip. I am gonna be having a camera in my hand every day of this fall season taking you all around Slovenia and the northern part of Italy to show you the basically truly best of this area. It is a stunning location that just isn't visited and photographed enough. That is my job this fall season, to get you guys wanting to come to Slovenia and photograph this epic country. It's got everything, mountains, lakes, rivers, food, culture, beautiful people, me. Why not come visit me? Because that'd be done for today, please. If you love this, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but let me know in the comments below some constructive criticism, what you wanna see from this year's fall season. I would love to have your guys' import, but I can guarantee you one thing. I will see you in the next episode. Ciao.